everybody, it's Paul Lehman. And no, I'm not auditioning for Captain Jack Sparrow. In fact, I don't need this now. But a couple of weeks back, just before lockdown, working in the kitchen, the compasses, my eyes got very dry. My lenses rubbed against my cornea. And I then scratched my cornea and uh, had to go to the hospital and then the opticians. But thank the Lord, it's all got back to normal. But uh, I'm now thinking maybe it's time not to wear lenses so much and to look at wearing glasses more often. And so I went to choose some new frames and I was looking at the frames thinking, you know, the frames, what do I want? I want, I guess, a pair that blended with my natural complexion, maybe a bit gingery, a bit gray, um, a bit white. And I'm thinking, well, actually, it's not the frames that are important. It's the lenses. The lenses are what you see through. And it gave me some thoughts over the weekend about what are we looking through when we look through situations what vision do we have what what is fixing our gaze and it led me to hebrews 12 verse 2 which says we look away from the natural realm and we fasten or fix our gaze onto jesus who birthed faith within us and who leads us forward into faith's perfection or in some version it says he is the pioneer and perfecter of our faith and it got as i say got me thinking about what am I fixing my eyes on? What am I fixing my gaze on right now? And there's lots of positive things to fix my gaze on. There's Christmas coming. And I've seen already people putting their Christmas trees up and their decorations up. And it's great to see the lights and the tinsel. And then my gaze can be upon, well, we're just coming out of lockdown 2.0. And we're going into tier two. And how does that affect us? Then I'm thinking, well, the positive things, we've got Christmas coming. Who can be in my bubble? Our children, our grandchildren. And there's lots of things that we could fix our gaze on. And it got me reminded of a song that was one of my mum's favourite songs, which is Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of the earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. And in fact, I sung that to my mum just days before she passed away and that song the words may be a little bit old-fashioned the things of earth will go strangely dim I guess in today's parlance we think about they become less significant and for me at this time I just want to fix my eyes on the Lord I want us to fix our eyes fix our gaze on Jesus and while there's great things to look forward to there's our daily walk with God there's our communion with God there's our praying to God there's our worship of God and that's what I want to fix my eyes on as I continue next week to go back to the optician to to see whether these glasses suit me or these glasses suit me or even these glasses suit me or maybe these glasses suit me Paul they're my glasses well that's one less pair I've got to worry about so whatever you're doing <laughs> However you, and that was Kim laughing there, whatever you're thinking about, fix your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. So God bless. Hope to see you some, some of you at the Christmas carol service at the car park soon. Take care. God bless. Bye now.